To get out of town, today is the day to plan it. It is National Plan for a Vacation Day. And while we're thinking about booking a getaway, we wanted to bring in a special guest. Deb Metcalf with Travel Agents International joins us right now. And Deb, you can be pretty busy today, right? Well, we plan on being very busy today, so that's a good thing. Yes, absolutely. Since it is planned your vacation day, when do you recommend planning for a trip and how far out from when you know you want to travel? Well, I usually tell people you've got to at least plan uh, six to eight months out. Now, we do a lot of last minute bookings also, so I don't want you to uh, be, you know, afraid to book something last minute because a lot of times there are some last minute deals, but don't wait. If you know you're going to have that week off and you know exactly where you'd like to go and the budget you're looking for, you need to go ahead and plan that as uh, uh, at least six to eight months out. Now, you can only book air uh, if you are planning on going um, flying, you can only book your airline tickets usually 331 uh, days out anyway. So as soon as you decide, you know, I've got this budget, I am wanting to do, I uh, would like to go here, go ahead and start working on it. You can go ahead and pay for it, uh, you know, uh, pay for it um, monthly if you'd like. We do that a lot of times for our, our customers. They'll call and book it maybe eight months out, and most packages have to be paid for in a, um, anywhere from 30 to 60 days out. So you can sort of, we just put you on a little payment plan, and every month you pay a little bit, and uh, by the time your trip comes, you've got it paid in full. That is a good thing to know right there, Deb. And what are some of the best places uh -huh. to look for in 2022? Well, uh, domestically here in the United States, uh, the Grand Canyon, Yellowstone are still popular destinations for this year. Florida is still very popular. Uh, the Caribbean is still very popular. And Mexico. Uh, your best pricing is still uh, Mexico. I have... 10 people leaving the, uh, next week going to Cabo. Uh, I just had uh, 10 people come back from Cancun. A lot of people are still using that as a uh, the easiness of travel to Mexico. I've got uh, um, a lot of honeymoon couples looking at uh, Jamaica, St. Lucia. We just have to look at the islands and see what the restrictions are for you to go there. Europe, I've booked several uh, clients already to Europe for this coming year. And a lot of the river cruises are still sailing over in Europe. Um, I had a real good friend that just came back from a Greek uh, Isle cruise. Uh, it was a little bit more, you know, testing for her than normal, but uh, had a great time. And, you know, we'll be glad to help work through the process and help you get to the destination and be able to uh, take that trip that you've been wanting to take for a lifetime. Awesome. All right, let's talk about what not to do. Common mistakes that you see when booking travel. Well, common mistakes is, uh, to me, is the first thing is you don't know what your, uh, the next step would be. In other words, what uh, testing do I need to do? What papers do I need to fill out? Where am I going and what is needed for that to particular destination. Used to you didn't really have to worry about that, but that is something you have to worry about. Make sure, uh, you want to make sure that uh, you do take out insurance. Uh, I don't care where you're going, domestic or international, take out the travel insurance. That is one mistake I think a lot of people don't do. And you really do need that because if at the last minute you can't go, that you do lose uh, most everything is not still non-refundable. Oh yeah, I've experienced that before. It's not fun. All right, last question. Yeah. What should be a part of your traveler's checklist? What do they need to be checking off as they go? Uh, the checklist, um, I would start with, uh, if you've already booked your trip, the checklist would of course be, you know, uh, what documentation I need, passport, if you're going out of the country, uh, make sure you uh, call your credit card company, tell them you will be out of the country and that you'll be using the credit card. Have two credit cards. Um, uh, me and my husband were traveling and his got compromised, mine did not. Even though it's on the same account, it's a two different numbers. His, uh, we had to cancel his card while we were out of the country, but mine was still good. Um, I always tell people to um, make sure that you have your hand sanitizer still, your mask still, um, make sure that uh, what uh, the, you know, go ahead and let's see what, what the hotel requirements are 
Um, I've got a couple that I'm working on a fabulous trip just down to Florida, but you know, they wanted to know what restaurants are going to be open. Are all the restaurants going to be open? Do I want to spend my money if only one restaurant is open? So, I mean, you know, we, uh, Disney, uh, you know, I'm working with a family to Disney and as you know, Disney can, you know, be fairly expensive, but you know, if you're going to go, what are, what is it that I need to, to do? Would they have, you know, they do have, uh, you know, certain restrictions with the family, you know, what, restaurants serve this so I it's been very detailed on that Disney trip so we you know and that's one thing we do for our clients we sit down with them and say okay this is what's available where you're going so on that checklist you want to have all your questions answered so when you get there you don't have all you don't have to worry about spend 30 minutes a day worrying well can I go here no all this is available for me and uh, the restaurants these restaurants are open so mm -hmm. you don't really have all the worry or all the uh, extra steps those are already taken care of awesome and that is the benefit of having you as a travel agent Deb thank you so much for joining exactly. us early this morning it is always a pleasure talking <laughs> with you so yeah go book your travels with Deb right now and thank you so much have a great rest of your day